Honestly, Gibraltar is a pretty useful character. Let's go! Just like Bloodhound, he's player friendly, being able to satisfy a casual player's needs. Likewise, he's pretty overpowered, having a lot of useful things at his disposal to make public matches an absolute nightmare. This results in him being annoying to fight against, because for one, his passive, the Gun Shield, can take a lot of damage before you even crack his body shield. Sometimes it feels like you can put an entire clip in him and barely break his passive. It could be the difference between you winning a gunfight or just dying. But then on top of the fact he has extra health in general, Gibraltar can be an obstacle for the average player. He's a top tier, easily being able to fill the shoes of a defensive character and do pretty much everything better than Lifeline. In fact, he's the gold standard of the defensive class. This is thanks to his tactical ability, the Dome Shield. The Dome Shield is designed to be a barrier that enemies can't shoot through. It can be good for mid to far ranges. Mid if you need to do a quick hill or get some natural cover, and far if you... Well, let me give you an example. Imagine you get a Kraber from a supply drop. Feeling fresh, feeling like phase, and boom, you see Gibraltar in the distance. You scope in, pull the trigger, hit. It wasn't a headshot, but it was a big 150 damage. Take out your secondary, cackling like a hyena, looking it down the Gibby, then boom, he throws down a dome shield. It's that type of stuff that makes this dome shield an annoyance. Now you either have to make the choice of backing off or rushing. Either way, the Gibraltar knows there's a threat now and could pull off a Phoenix Kid by the time you actually get to his position. Or, better yet, his teammates pull up, and now you have a full fight on your hands. The dome shield is even good at close range. I know everyone has fought a Gibraltar who's used their shield to go back and forth while fighting you. Like, seriously, stay still, god. This type of movement and just basic tryhard mentality is what Gibraltar players can just be hard to deal with. If that wasn't an impressive resume already, you can not only heal fast in the dome shield, but revive faster in the dome shield. This makes him objectively better than Lifeline, the poster child of the support class, and he isn't even a support. That's not the only character he outshines though. Bangalore, as well. If his tactical and passive wasn't good enough, his ultimate allows him to spawn an AC-130 that can annihilate the entirety of the server. Okay, we all know that's an over-exaggeration. His ult is pretty good on paper, but it's easy to avoid. The only reason it's better than Bangalore is, is because it's instant, leaving little time to react to it. If you're caught in the open, it could be hard to avoid, but if there's a building right next to you, just, just, just walk in, please. Like Bing's ult, it seems it's more successful at pushing enemies back than actually hurting them. That's not to say you can't hurt enemies with it, but the success rate is really low if you don't know the right time to use it. Oh, yeah, and speaking of using stuff, he has an heirloom now. Well, we already knew what it was going to be at the beginning of the season, but it's cool even though I don't have it, or just one in general, I'm glad for the Gibraltar mains. All in all... <sighs> Gibraltar's an 8 out of 10.